Hello guys, welcome to GRS Talks. Uh, in this video, I am going to share the Gen Z Next interview experience. Your wait is over. Enjoy this video. Sorry for you guys. Uh, from past two days, I am not healthy. That's why I didn't do videos uh, regarding the Cognizant. So now I am fine uh, by your wishes and uh, your wait is over. Enjoy this video. In this video, I am going to explain complete Gen Z Next interview experience, how it happened uh, for the technical interview and how it happened HR interview, how it happened the coding interview and uh, all these things will be explained in detail. So if uh, before going to the explanation, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe this channel and support us. Uh, if, you so, if you subscribe and like and comment this video, I will get some, uh, some motivation and I will do more and more and I will provide more and more videos to you. Okay. So guys, uh, below description, I will provide telegram group as well. If you are interested, you can join daily. I will update the job notifications of top most MNCs and product and service based companies. And then I provided a few cognizant videos as well in description. If you want, you can have a look and let's go to the topic. Actually, a cognizant is conducting Gen C and Gen C Next. Gen C Next is for 6.5 lakhs. If you got a merit score in the written test, then you will be selected for Gen C Next. Then you have to crack the coding coding round, right? In that coding round, they will give two questions, two coding questions. One is from basic fundamentals, and the second one is from a complex one. Complex one is nothing but they may ask questions from whoops concept like inheritance, polymorphism, and you can take function and you can uh, uh, you can do recurrence and we are having data structures programs we can having and all these stuffs and complex problem will be for the uh, um, uh, complex program. Coming to the simple program, they just ask the. Uh, uh, some of the prime numbers and the patterns uh, how you can you need to print the pattern patterns and uh, all the basic questions and fundamental math programs are comes under the basic one and all the complex one and uh, and all these things are comes under complexity complex program okay if you done good in the two programs you will select it for the technical interview of gen c next but gen c next interview is bit difficult compared with gen c okay it's not be similar to gen c because they are there is a variance in salary as well as there is a variance in interview also okay uh, if you uh, if you are uh, preparing for gen c next interview you should have good command and good knowledge on your previous coding uh, round okay actually in coding round you you face two problems right you should have knowledge on the two programs time complexity and space complexity you will face the questions on time and space complexity it is very important if you don't know how to find the time complexity and space complexity we are having one subject the design analysis of algorithm in that you found the formulas and you can found the recurrence relations to find the space complexity and time complexity of the programs go through the, that subject and you can learn the topic in that the from the da subject da is nothing but design analysis and algorithm i think i, I forgot that subject abbreviation but you can search that da subject i think it was available for csc students if you are from non csc then you can uh, search the csc da subject and you can learn the space and time complexity of the programs after that, they will ask some questions from the data structures uh, related the what are the sorting techniques and what is the best case and what is the worst case, what is the average case time complexities for those programs. You should by heart those formulas and uh, it's not a difficult. It is very easy. We are having only a big O of n, big O of n square, big O of n log n, big O of log n, big O of n log n. These type of things will be only there for that. So it, it was quite easy. Don't worry regarding the time complexities. And then they just ask few algorithms and uh, shortest distance algorithms like Prim's algorithm, Kruskal's algorithm. They will go in depth because you should have knowledge on data structures. If you are going for 6.5 lakhs per annum, right? And one more thing is, if you are going for Gen C next, you should have you should have full command on data structures if you want to select for that interview. 
and few members asking that uh, sir i was selected for the gen c next but i am not perform well if they uh, i am not selected for that will they give chance to participate in the gen c okay actually they will not give chance to participate in gen c interview okay but they will give chance if you perform somewhat better not in high so if you perform somewhat better in gen c next directly they will select to the gen c role but they will not conduct again the round gen c interview okay if you got result that you are not selected then uh, you have to understand that you are not selected for gen c as well okay if you are selected for gen c when you are attempted for the gen c next they will sell, send that mail sorry we are you are not selected for gen c next but you were selected for gen c like that you will get mail so don't worry regarding that whatever job it is it's the first time if you are not selected for the job uh, don't worry because uh, uh, myself i was not selected till uh, trying of 17 job at the time of 17 job i was selected in cognizant and then selected in dcs and then selected in product based company okay don't worry guys whenever you selected is not matter whenever you joined is matter okay of course now you got selected this is november right uh, if you are selected in may that person got that person will got the joining letter only completion of your academic year even you selected for November, that person will also get the joining letter at the end of the academic colony. Okay, whenever you are selected is not matter, whenever you joined is matter. We are having lot of opportunities and if you want those notifications, below link, telegram link is there. You can join in the telegram group and enjoy the latest notification. And very soon I am announcing the join button to our channel. In that join button, if you join to the join button, uh, I will... Uh, uh, provide very uh, useful information in that like that uh, if the person joined in that uh, join button uh, prime membership I will uh, call to that person daily and I will send few jo job notification to personally to him or her and I make his I make him or her to apply for the jobs as well as I will prepare resumes for them I will update each and every point to them and I will motivate them and at last at the end of the academic year i will provide the job for them okay that is my surety to the students those who are willing to join for the join membership even they are not good at coding even they are not good at core subjects i will make them to prepare well to get selected for the company okay uh, in below description uh, i will provide uh, uh, one whatsapp group in that whatsapp group only uh, those who are interested for join those who are interested for prime videos those persons only join in that group okay please please don't spam that group if you are interested to join in prime prime then you can only join the prime prices will be discussed in that group based on your interest so please guys please try to understand my problem and uh, Let's, uh, Gen C next is uh, like that happen, okay? Uh, that's all. Nothing is happen and uh, here we can discuss the, now we can discuss what are the questions few students from our subscribers got regarding the Gen C next. Whenever that person enters, the interviewer asks that, explain about yourself. Introduce yourself. That person introduce about himself. While, inter while introducing he tell that I did project on Android. Okay, the interviewer got scope from the topic. What are the uh, scripting languages used in Android to build the app? What is emulator? What is the previous versions? What is the latest version? All these things will be asked because if you want to mention anything in resume, you should be perfect on that. Okay. Uh, better to say that uh, if you have basics then you can mention basics in bracket okay if you are uh, uh, expert in that then you can mention in expert uh, no need to mention expert you just uh, mention a single they you just mention that uh, technology that's all no need to mention expert but if you have uh, but if you are not uh, good at in depth 
then you can just that basics after the introduction they just gave two queries from the sql and uh, 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 that subscriber didn't get the particular questions but they told like this they will get the two questions from the sql and then that person gave the question to write the program uh, and that program is write a binary binary search uh, yes right binary search algorithm and then next one is what uh, difference between array and linked list and types of linked list what is the difference between double linked list and circle linked list and then uh, that person uh, that interviewer asked the um, that candidate from CSE student uh, that person asked that uh, uh, some question is there case uh, something that what it was oh, case nap algorithm something from the subject he just asked that and then they just asked prims and crescals that's all at last they said that uh, your communication is not good but if why why uh, your communication is not good please uh, improve your communication that you interviewer said like that but the student was selected for hr the tr said like that but because of the technology mentioned in resume he was selected for the hr HR is quite common to all the persons. They just ask the self detection and the interest and the strengths and weakness and all these things. That's it. This is about the Jensen Exchange of Experience. If you are interested for the Prime members, then you can uh, join in the WhatsApp group what I provided in the description. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, if you feel any bore this video, please mention comment. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.